October the 2nd, 2017, 4 p.m. in Council Chambers. I will mm -hmm. uh, call a meeting to order and read the statement of the chair. This public hearing is convened pursuant to Section 464 of the Local Government Act, RSBC 2015, to allow the public to make representation to Council respecting matters contained in Zoning Amendment Bylaw Number 1085.104-2017. Every person present who believes that their interest in property is affected by the proposed bylaws shall be given a reasonable opportunity to be heard respecting matters contained in the proposed bylaws. None of you will be discouraged or prevented from making your views known. However, it is important that you restrict your remarks to matters contained in the proposed bylaws. When speaking, please proceed to the microphone and commence your remarks by clearly stating your name and address. If you do not wish your entire address to form part of the public minutes, please state so for record-keeping purposes and only your street, at, street number will be recorded. Your full address will still be kept on file with the town. If they wish, members of council may ask you questions following your presentation. However, the function of council at this public hearing is to listen to you rather than to debate the merits of the proposed bylaws. In accordance with the council procedure bylaw, presentations by members of the public shall be limited to a maximum of five minutes each. If a person has additional information that he is unable to provide within that time frame, he shall be given further opportunity to address council after all other interested members of the public have been heard a first time. Please refrain from applause or other expressions of emotion during this public hearing so that we may ensure as impartial a hearing as possible. After this public hearing is adjourned, council members will not speak to the public on this matter until after the matter has been dealt with at a public meeting. After this public hearing has concluded, Council may without further notice give whatever effect Council believes proper to the representations made at this hearing. So confirmation of uh, advertising and posting requirements. Notice of this public hearing was given in accordance with the Local Government Act and the Community Charter by distributing the notice as follows. Publishing in two consecutive editions of the Asuius Times on September 20th and September 27th, 2017. Placing the notice on the bulletin boards in the Town Hall and Planning and Development Services Department on September the 20th. And posting on the Town's website on September the 20th and distributing via e-news on September 20th, 2017. So we will have a, um, a summary of the staff report. The purpose of this meeting is to seek public input on zoning bylaw amendment uh, number 1085.104-2017, which received first and second readings on September the 5th, 2017. The proposed amendment to zoning bylaw number 1085 is the addition of indoor recreation commercial as a permitted use in the C1 downtown commercial zone. This amendment was initiated after the town received an inquiry from a business operator interested in establishing a simulated virtual sports related business within the C1 zone. And now I will ask Ms. Wong to give the uh, zoning amendment bylaw report number two. All right, thank you. So during the September 5th, 2017 regular open meeting, council gave uh, first and second readings to the attached zoning amendment bylaw number 1085.104-2017. The bylaw proposes to add indoor recreation commercial as a permitted use in the C1 downtown commercial zone. In terms of the proposal, the town recently received an inquiry from a business operator who is interested in establishing a simulated virtual sports-related business within the C1 downtown commercial zone. 
while the proposed business would be considered as an indoor recreation commercial use in the town's zoning bylaw, recreation commercial is currently only permitted within the C3 highway commercial, C4 tourist commercial, and the CD1 and CD2 comprehensive development zones. As a result, staff has reviewed whether the overall C1 zone may also be suitable for accommodating indoor recreation commercial as a permitted use, which will be discussed in further detail. From a policy perspective, um, applicable commercial objectives and policies in the official community plan include the following. Objective 10.2.1, expand and strengthen Asuyus as a regional service center and major resort attraction. Objective 10.2.3, diversify four season commercial attractions for residents and tourists. And policy 10-4, target suitable new businesses to the area designated downtown commercial on the OCP map. With respect to the zoning bylaw, the C1 downtown commercial zone permits a fairly extensive range of uses, and these include retail, retail store, service business, institutional use, laundromat, restaurant, licensed establishment, and public assembly and entertainment use. In terms of the definition, uh, the zoning bylaw currently defines recreation commercial as follows. Recreation commercial means any business that provides recreational services or recreational activities such as, but not limited to, theme parks, mini golf, billiard halls, and arcades. While the above definition encompasses both indoor and outdoor recreation commercial uses, narrowing the use to indoor recreation commercial within an enclosed building in the C1 zone would be compatible with the other general uses that are currently permitted under this zone. Based on a review of zoning bylaws from other jurisdictions and as shown in attachment three, a number of municipalities also have provisions for indoor recreation commercial uses in various commercial zones, and these include the downtown areas. In terms of implications for the community, the addition of the proposed use would broaden economic and recreational opportunities, as well as promote a mix of uses within the downtown area. Organizationally, the application has been forwarded to applicable referral agencies and departments for comments, including the Ministry of Transportation and Infrastructure, who has granted preliminary approval for the bylaw. If Council wishes to consider uh, the bylaw further, final approval from the Ministry of Transportation is required between third reading and final adoption. In terms of significant dates, the public hearing Notice mentioned that a special open meeting will be held immediately after the public hearing uh, today if council wishes to give the bylaw further consideration. And in terms of sustainability, the proposed use would contribute to economic sustainability by diversifying the range of businesses and new opportunities. And I will go through the options for council later during the special open meeting. Good. Thank you very much. So the identification of correspondence received, we haven't received any correspondence? We have it, no. Okay, fair enough. And now there is a public presentation, but um, I, and do I have to call it for second and third time? Okay, uh, is there anyone from the public who would like to uh, ask from the first time? Does this include council? No, it doesn't, just from the public. First time? Anyone from the audience that would like to do this a second time or a third time? Uh, hearing none, then I will ask that, uh, declare that the public hearing is closed. And um, do I need to have uh, this? Okay. Public hearing is now closed. Thank you. Sorry, did you, you didn't want to speak at this.